How's it going guys? Uh, Javelin back again with uh, not really a guide this time, just some gameplay. Uh, I will talk about some of the differences uh, from before the patch and after the patch. And I'll cover some of the things that I think I forgot last time. So if you're looking for an in-depth guide, uh, then go back and uh, look at my previous video. So just to quickly cover uh, what I've got so far, what I've upgraded since last time. Still passive systems, just a couple of points, nothing special. Uh, utility, I've got one more point into decoy flares. And right now that's the uh, next objective for me to upgrade. In the defense slot, uh, I've maxed out composite armor. And even though it's a uh, thousand points with the recent upgrade to AA, I think it's worth it. As you saw there in the performance slot, I have maxed out hover stability as well. And for the turbo lasers, I've maxed out the magazine size. I'll probably be getting some more uh, reload time for that, which is what I've gotten for the uh, dual photon pods. And that's about it, so let's jump straight into the action. And this will just be a 15 minute continuous gameplay um, where we are attacking the Xeno Tech Labs and I am using the Regent Rock Garrison as my reload and rearm base. And since uh, my last video we had the first uh, major update which, amongst other things, uh, buffed uh, anti-aircraft uh, quite a lot. And to be fair, it was quite justified. The way you were uh, able to uh, dominate and keep air superiority pre uh, previously was, uh, well, just a teensy bit unfair. Right now, I think uh, they pretty much hit the mark for how it should be. You're not quite a glass cannon, but close to it. You can't stay in a hot zone for too long if the enemies actually have anti-air defenses up. And considering how easy it is to switch to a max with preferably dual bursters, if you and a friend do that, um, you can deter most aircraft fairly easily and it actually becomes about team play once again because the aircraft will need to have uh, ground forces moving in and taking care of those maxes for them. And as I showed you in the beginning there, I did get the level 4 composite armor upgrade might not be necessary and the last one I mean it's just 5% uh, more against anti-air and 2% more against uh, small arms fire and it actually cost you a thousand certificates but every little point helps and uh, the way I felt is that being that I'm focusing on uh, anti-ground most of the time I want to be as efficient as possible and be able to survive as long as possible as well the other change the update brought, uh, quite a major change for flying the planes, is that they changed the blast radius of the photon pods or the rockets. The, the radius is actually still the same, but it does less damage uh, the further out you go, or less than it did before in any case. So you have to be a lot more accurate now. Uh, previously, shots like those would probably have killed this uh, heavy assault guy, but now they well, they brought his shields down and uh, someone else had to finish him off. When you're focusing on one person or one infantry, it's it's quite alright, you don't really notice it that much, but you do notice it quite well when you're engaging groups, because previously maybe you were able to just focus on the center guy and, you know, you got five kills because people were standing around him. That's quite alright, I think. Uh, sure, I mean, you won't be able to rack up as many kills, but then again, it was sort of... <laughs> sort of bad the way it was before. This is more along the line of the way it should be. Uh, the update actually did bring some positive things though. Uh, for example, the spotting has been majorly improved in my opinion. Before the update it was a bit spotty. <laughs> now it's uh, it's better. Um, for the patch or the update, you had the auditory help. You got spotted a heavy assault or whatever. But you that was it. You got the uh, name tags and stuff for vehicles but not for infantry but that is now changed so if you do spot someone you get a little name tag above their heads and you also which is very much appreciated you also get a health bar for them which really really helps for determining if you need to throw away one two three or four or maybe a full salvo of rockets to kill that single infantry guy and i must say overall i'm uh, really impressed with uh, sony the way they're handling the updates and the game overall. Uh, people, who, uh, people who've played uh, other MMOs, uh, I'm sure you're aware how 
Most of them turn out during launch. Uh, it's usually very laggy and uh, well, they're basically learning as they go. Uh, Sony really is, well, they've impressed me. They've done a good job so far. Minimal uh, downtime and uh, as I said, the update was, well, it was a couple of hours one day and then oh, well, two, two gigabytes to download and off you go again. I have noticed a few bugs. Uh, not sure if they were present before the patch but uh, I have been playing quite a bit uh, light uh, assault lately and sometimes after maybe an hour or so of playing uh, my jetpack just stops working which well it's quite annoying when you're you know trying to look trying to get a high kill to death ratio or whatever and uh, then all of a sudden you have to stop because uh, you have to log out to get your jetpack working again which is pretty good game breaking if you're playing light assault also had some other stuff like falling through the ground or I've actually gotten stuck uh, on uh, two or three occasions at the loadout terminal and uh, was unable to move and uh, a few graphical glitches uh, which forced me to uh, log out and log back in but all in all are minor glitches and uh, as I said I think they're doing a good job so far and I really do think that they're approaching uh, the nerf bat issue in the in a correct manner they didn't nerf the uh, the aircraft all that much instead they actually buffed the anti-aircraft stuff which is I think just the correct way to handle it make it harder for pilots in a good way not don't make them feel crippled but you know make the opposition have a bit of an edge instead and this assault you've been bit witnessing the last couple of minutes uh, on the scene of tech labs is well I wouldn't say a rare occurrence but it's more common that uh, <laughs> you end up attacking the crown or something like that and then you always have a lot a lot a lot of anti-aircraft going on and uh, while you might not always have uh, have a choice in the matter I tend to try to stick to the periphery of the battles trying to pick out stragglers and uh, people who aren't paying attention and especially people who don't have anti-aircraft backing up because once you get into those big skirmishes for example at the crown uh, with the recent updates it usually entails going in maybe getting one strafing run uh, and then just you have to get the hell out of there because there are so many people focusing on you and I think that's the biggest change compared to the beginning of uh, the launch when people were they were so upset with uh, the pilots because oh they're killing everybody and the rocket pods are too good and so on but right now people have realized how big a threat the fighters are and I think they've also realized how well not easy but how if you're actually concentrating fire and more than one person is focusing on anti-air you can actually deter aircraft quite easily in this game I think the biggest issue I have right now with the game is uh, probably the draw distance uh, in my last video I had uh, some stuff showcasing how how uh, weird it can get when uh, you're approaching uh, a place where seemingly, seemingly no one is and then uh, you uh, you realize that there's 40-50 people there and if <laughs> just two or three of those, of those 40 people are burst to maxes you're done but uh, again I'm sure these are things that they will improve and the overall experience f over maybe a normal five hour session or whatever however long you play it's gonna be good and uh, there's only gonna be a couple of these instances where you go what the hell happened there why can I see this guy and so on but overall I'd say it's a, still a very good game and I really like where they're going with it uh, both the way they're handling patches, updates how they're handling player feedback and so on uh, on a more personal note, the one thing I really hope they uh, fix as soon as possible is uh, that they allow us to make more changes to joystick axis and, uh, well, setting up your joystick specifically how you want it. Uh, right now there's uh, only one setting that uh, affects all the different axes of the joystick, so, for example, if you want to have a slightly higher sensitivity on the roll, but you don't want to have that sensitive of a pitch, sorry there's nothing you can do and uh, one thing which could potentially be game breaking and I don't really like it I really wish they would fix it is that you can't 
have a specific input and output ratio. Basically meaning that if you want to have a uh, very smooth and very sensitive uh, joystick as in the middle, uh, and then when you go further out, you want it to give the full deflection possible, that's not at the current setup. change it hopefully we'll fix it right now it's it's manageable but you sometimes feel that oh if they only would have fixed that then you know it would be a perfect game as far as flying goes anyways uh, that's pretty much what I have for you today so I will leave you with some music for the remaining four or five minutes of this video I am in the process of making some infantry based videos uh, might be guides might be uh, just gameplay videos like this one if you want more guides just you know tell me in the comments and I'll try to focus on stuff that you might want to hear or might wanna get my opinion on and otherwise I'll, I'll probably be making a guide for the Liberator and possibly one of the tanks uh, not quite sure which one I'll start off, off on right now but one of them uh, so anyways thank you for watching guys and uh, I'll see you next time bye bye